Some may call him the caboose. I don't. I call him the best man. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Mark Gaysman. A wise man once told me that the best man's speech would be as long as the groom lasts in bed. Thank you. I do not. I'm just kidding. Well, my name is Mark, and I have the great fortune of being the best man. The older brother of the groom. That makes sense. Um, too much Patron. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all on behalf of the bride and groom for sharing this special day. Now, it's customary for the best man to drag up some embarrassing stories of the groom's past, but out of respect for Tommy on this big day, I'm afraid I'm not going to. Go I'm not going to mention the time <laughs> he killed a rattlesnake and brought it home to mom and dad and almost gave a mom a heart attack. <laughs> or the time he rolled his Jeep in Texas Canyon. <laughs> I remember that or, Oh, really, the reason why I'm not going to mention those things is because it wouldn't be a realistic picture of my brother. Tommy is one of the most responsible, intelligent, and good-hearted guys I know, and I'm lucky to have him as my brother. So, I can say this with confidence to you, Amanda, you chose him a good man, and I know Tommy is also a very lucky guy. All right, now Tommy, take a man's hand and place your hand on top of hers. Remember this moment and cherish it. Because this is the last time you'll ever have the other hand. <laughs> now, if you all join me in raising the glass to our rapid couple of Tommy and Amanda, <laughs> may the joys you share today be the beginning of a lifetime of great happiness and fulfillment. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause, Mark Beecher. <laughs> <laughs> Mark will be at the improv next week. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>